All right, how's everybody doing? Um, been a crazy week and a half or so. Um, I hope you're able to get a little bit of rela relaxation over spring break. Um, and now, welcome back to the online version of our class. So we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes as an online course. Um, I haven't created much online content, so it's gonna be a new experience for me. And I'm sure I'll learn a lot. Um, Unfortunately, there may be some bumps for you to have to work through, and I apologize for that. But um, hopefully we can all be understanding and we'll get through it. So um, what I'm going to do right now is just kind of walk you through what I envision the format for our class to be like for the rest of the semester, um, and then talk more specifically about what I'd like you to do for this week. Um, before we get into that, I just want to acknowledge all of the adjustments we're all making. Um, just for an example for myself, a couple pictures here. Um, on the left, I have set up a lab um, in my garage. So I was weighing some materials for the undergrad class. I've got a bunch of instrumentation so I can make some measurements for our class. Um, we're still trying to build some sensors for the summer so we can keep summer field work going. So that's set up in my garage and in my basement. Um, so I'm kind of figuring out where to do things. Um, on the right is a picture of my um, oldest daughter helping me water our plants for our class. Um, she's subtly letting you know that she doesn't really appreciate having to water your plants, but she's doing it anyway. Um, so we're all making adjustments. Um, oh, one other thing I was going to say, um, I guess according or in relation to making adjustments is um, like last week, we were basically on a daily basis, we were told something different from the university. And so I didn't actually get much work done on our class. Most of it was just responding to emergencies. Um, and we basically emptied out our labs um, so we can keep doing some research for the for the summer because um, we're, we're not really allowed in our labs right now. Um, so those are some of the adjustments I've been making. I know you're all making similar kinds of adjustments and just figuring out where you're going to work and where you can focus on school work and those kind of things. Um, and so I just say that to let you know that I'm going to be understanding and hopefully you'll be understanding over especially the next couple of weeks as we make this transition. And I'm sure it'll smooth out here pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, we'll try to make that adjustment process and period as short as possible. So let me just talk you through what I'm envisioning for lectures in labs and office hours. So I think what we'll do for lectures is um, each week I'll post uh, maybe three or four short videos um, for you to watch. Um, I'm also going to rely more on you doing the readings. Um, and like for the first half of the semester, you did readings and then I would kind of highlight the important things in a lecture. What I'll probably do is, is rely, on, bleh, sorry, rely on you to read the material and then I'll give you some quizzes to help you make sure you kind of focused on the right parts and the most important parts of that reading. Um, so, so again, lectures will be kind of reading. I might post some videos and then it'll be some quizzes and those quizzes will be relatively easy or you'll have multiple chances to take the quizzes. They're not to really evaluate how well you understood it, just to help you focus on the important things. Um, for labs, um, what I will be doing is videotaping myself or uh, a graduate student um, doing the measurements that we would normally do. So you can at least see the process, although you won't be able to do it, unfortunately. Um, but hopefully that'll help a little bit to be able to see the process. But then the data I collect during that time, I will send out to you and have you analyze it. And there might be some more videos, um, tutorials and how to analyze that data. Um, to make sure you're doing it um, correctly. Um, for kind of office hours or like interactions that we would normally have in class where you could ask questions, um, right now what I'll do is set up um, some discussion boards associated with each week so that we can, whether it's labs or lecture, you all can ask questions and we can interact some through those discussion boards. And then um, we have a small enough class that we could do some um, live kind of meetings through Microsoft Teams or something like that. And so we'll kind of see how it goes with the discussion boards first. 
Um, and, and if it, that seems necessary to have more kind of live um, interaction time, we'll do that. And if we feel like we're all getting the information we want um, through the discussion boards, we'll just kind of leave it at that. So that'll be a little bit of a work in progress. So having said that, make sure you give me feedback and, and if you're feeling like you'd have to like to have some one-on-one -on -one time or some more live interactions, um, we'll go ahead and set that up. Um, okay, so that's kind of general format. Um, again, this is gonna evolve over the next few weeks, so we'll just try to try to work through it as much as we can. Um, what I will do each week um, on Monday, except for of course this week, um, I will post a video like this, just giving you some idea of what I'm looking for for the week and kind of walk you through maybe some of the, the um, activities that you'll need to accomplish for that week and due dates and things like that. So what that'll look like um, on Canvas, um, if we just look at week 10 right now, so in week 10, we're going to focus on flow and transport. And so I've got this week 10 overview. Um, once I finish this video, I'll post that underneath here. Um, if there's a lot of files and different links for you to, to follow to accomplish the task for the week, I'll also post a to-do list there, just so you don't have to watch the video again to know all the tasks you need to get done. Um, I'm just feeling like some weeks there might be lots of different files that I'll post, and so to keep track of everything in one place, I'll, I'll put like a to-do list. Um, this week it'll be pretty simple, um, and so I won't put that to-do list. Um, so thinking about this week, um, again, keeping it relatively simple, um, just because we don't have a lot of time in this week left and because we're all making this adjustment. And to be honest, I'm still like, it took me so long to get this posted today because I was struggling with what software to use and all of that kind of stuff. So, um, so we'll keep it really relatively easy and short this week. So what I'd like you to do for this week is um, there are two readings um, that are posted here. Um, one is section 2C of your book, which talks about flow and transport. And then um, this reading is also about flow and transport. It's a little more up to date. And so after reading the book, it'll be pretty easy to cruise through this and kind of see what new information that there is um, on flow and transport. Flow transport in general um, has been something that's been kind of lagging in research. Um, it's really hard to measure what's going on in the phloem because they're living cells. Um, and so we're rapidly learning new information about the phloem and phloem transport and how it responds to changes in environmental conditions. So even you can see even that paper is four years old. Um, so anyway, those are the two readings for this week. What I haven't finished yet is um, a quiz, or actually I'll probably post two quizzes for this week. Again, just to help you feel like you're zeroing in on the right information in those readings. So I will post those later today um, so that you can work through those as you're reading, or you can just read now and do those quizzes later. Again, I will let you have multiple attempts at those quizzes. So again, the, the point isn't to really evaluate what you've done um, or what you've read in your initial understanding. It's to help you get the information right. So there's no reason you shouldn't get 100% on these quizzes is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. Okay, I think that's all I need to say in this video for now. Um, keep an eye out for those quizzes, which again will be posted later today. And I'll, I will have those quizzes due at 5 p.m. on Sunday. And so I think that'll be our normal schedule where I'll post the information on Monday and you'll have until Sunday at 5 p.m. to do it. And hopefully by next week, I'll have a couple weeks worth of information posted. So if you wanna work ahead, you can, um, or if you wanna get behind a little bit, you probably can as well. Um, so anyway, um, again, part of that adjustment like I think everybody's schedules is probably a little bit different. I'm spending more time during the day helping my kids with their schoolwork. And so my schedule is certainly different than it used to be. And I imagine yours is the, the same way. So um, again, uh, we'll all be patient with each other and it will work out. And, and I'm kind of excited and interested to do the online format and see how it goes. So please, again, feel free to give me feedback on things. 
And I'm sure you've got other instructors that are going to do uh, more innovative or clever things with the online teaching. And so if you um, see them doing something neat you'd like me to try to incorporate, let me know and I'll do my best to, to incorporate that into our class. All right. So again, mainly, I hope you're all safe and healthy and doing okay. Let me know if you've got any concerns that I can help out with. And otherwise, I will post another video next week. And oh, the other thing, I will post a discussion board um, for this week as well. So if you have questions about the reading or comments, um, you can post them there and, and we can all see them and respond. All right, thanks. And we'll um, hopefully maybe see you before the end of the semester.